hello and welcome back to my channel I've been gone for quite a few months and I have some of you um, asking me to update you all or nudging me to update you all on my um, progress with Baylor and this midwifery program so I just wrapped up my third semester with Baylor and the women's health antepartum um, women's health and gyneco gynecology rotation um, and it was amazing I did let you all know in my last video that I was traveling to and from Dallas each week so while it was a headache I do feel like it was worth it in the end um, my preceptor she was amazing I learned so much um, in working in the women's health clinic I feel 10 times more comfortable um, now going into a women's health clinic providing care to women um, pregnant women pre and post menopausal women I just got a really good um, immersion experience working in this particular clinic it was tough getting on the road every week um, staying overnight in a hotel and a couple of those weeks I traveled with my daughter luckily she was in online school um, which allowed us to be a little more flexible this rotation however I do not have a site secured for my my next rotation which is the interpartum um, during labor um, I had to pass up on one opportunity it was another clinic that was three and a half hours from my house um, I just felt like at this moment my daughter's back in school she's back in person training um, I didn't feel like I could do that next semester just having us on the road on the go um, again I just didn't feel it would work out so I sadly had to decline that rotation and with COVID it's hard getting clinical placement to begin with so my fingers are crossed that I come across a or an opportunity um, falls in my lap where I'm able to um, precept with someone either in the birthing center or the hospital in Houston where I don't have to commute and pack up each week but like I said it was worth it I learned a ton I passed my oral exams my final exams everything's turned in um, papers for my research class I really in the midst of it it's like why am I doing this <laughs> why am I setting myself up for more school I don't need a doctorate um, I think I got enough experience now to go work in a women's health clinic but now that I have a little free time a little downtime it's like okay I got a chance to rejuvenate rest get some sleep slept in a couple of days now I feel okay now I can go into the next semester I can do this um, my DNP project I feel I'm getting closer to being more comfortable with that as well um, I have a class that we submitted a PICO question and we had to do evidence synthesis to basically figure out if there was enough evidence to support either a practice change or um, maybe a quality improvement for our DNP projects and I chose something regarding preeclampsia so I do feel like I have more of an idea now what I want to do for my DNP project and I'm comfortable now um, as far as gathering the research and all I need now is a location where I want to um, complete the project I need a project site but other than that I passed all my classes I think I'll have two A's I have two A's and two B's I'll take it um, and I'm done with that rotation of clinicals so I'm grateful for that um, so we'll be starting class up again January 11th I believe is our next semester so I have a little downtime I honestly I have a hard time balancing work and play and knowing that I had this break coming up I should have had a vacation plan but I didn't plan it out unfortunately so maybe I'll 
sneak in a quick getaway to um, somewhere, somewhere safe where I can still socially isolate and still enjoy myself. Maybe I'll take my daughter somewhere it's not cold because we're in really cold weather in some states or some parts of the country. So we'll see. I, I did go to Mexico, Tulum this past summer. So I don't know. We'll see. I just I'm thankful to be home and be able to sleep in, you know, and have more free time to update you all. So that was the goal. I really thank you all for the support. Um, thank you for the kind words and encouragement on my Instagram page where I